I know you guys are busy copying example D, so as you are doing so, I hope that when you begin working these problems, you start by writing the formula, no matter what. That's where you start. So I'm going to take half of B times H, or I can go B times H, divide that answer by 2. Once you're done copying example D, turn and talk to your neighbor. Which one would you use, the red formula or the black formula, OK? OK, I'm going to prefer to use the red formula. I'll tell you why. Because there's a fraction in one of my measurements. I see that my height is 3 and a fourth yards, and my base is 2 yards. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The base is in the sky? Yeah, that's fine with me, because I can spin this triangle in my mind and easily imagine that, OK? So it doesn't matter where it's, it is. I can spin it to redraw it if I can. But did it make sense why I chose a right formula? Yeah. yeah. OK, dividing, I mean, by 2 is, more, is tougher than multiplying by a half. So that's why I'd rather choose the red formula. So away I goes here. I'm going to plug it in. What is B? B is 2 yards. And the height is 3 and a fourth. What's up, Avery? Where did you get that half from again? The half came from the formula that I had memorized and that I write on my paper before I even begin working. Okay, that was in your teaching point. Yeah, I should say this. You need to memorize these formulas. When you get to your star testing or even my math quiz on tomorrow for you, on Friday, I won't write this anywhere for you. You need to have this written in your heart. Okay, you need to have this memorized. Alrighty, that's just part of the business and part of the territory of being a sixth grader. Alrighty, so then I'm going to multiply these two, the blue and the green ones. As a reminder, when I multiply, I want a numerator and denominator, and I'm going to rewrite any mixed number as an improper fraction. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep, yep. This is a, a reteaching of something you learned way back in October. Questions about that process I did in black ink? It's renaming a mixed number as an improper fraction. And I still have to multiply by one half out here. Well, I'm not done with the parentheses. I'm going to evaluate the two numerators and denominators. So on the bottom, in pink, 1 times 4 is 4. And up top in the orange, 2 times 13 is 26. That was the answer to the parentheses. PEMDAS. I still need to multiply by one half. And so I'm going to work it. 1 times 26 is 26. 2 times 4 is 8. There's my final mixed, I'm sorry, improper fraction. But allow me to re remind you that you have to also multiply the terms, the measurements. Yard times yard makes yard squared. And believe it or not, I'm not done. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor why that answer is not acceptable. So I'm going to change that improper fraction by division. The bottom number goes out. The top number goes in. 8 times 3 is 24. I get a remainder of 2. And then I've got to use this information to create mixed numbers. So this tells me I have three whole. I have two remaining out of eight. The remainder two goes up top, and what I was dividing by goes on the bottom. This is still not done. Tell your neighbor why. <laughs> So I'm going to simplify two eighths as three and one fourth. And don't forget about the yard squared. 
goodness gracious, that was crazy. But that's the final answer. It's very long, and it's a review of everything we talked about and I taught you in, in sixth grade. Fractions, PEMDAS, and now geometry. All we had to throw in there was some positive and negative in that crap of really the whole year.